Hello my student, this is Shantanu. Welcome back to my channel again. Today's class will be about prepositions and some prepositions related questions for the upcoming competitive exams of every kind. If you have any more thing to know or you have any doubt, you can easily drop your comments in the comment box section. I am always here to remove your doubts. Now without wasting any more time, let's get started. Can you keep your focus on the board? Before starting the class, I should say that if you haven't followed my previous videos, kindly follow my previous video so all my classes will be understandable for all of you. So let's get started. Look through the first question. What a noise? It's an exclamatory mark. Let's go and see what's there. Look through the option on, in, for, about. Now, what's there mean? What is going there? So, whenever some continuation effect is there or some dynamism needs to be placed or needs to be meant, in that case, you can use the preposition on because there is some kind of dynamism in the preposition on. What's going on mean what's on. What's on mean what's it going on. It has the action has some dynamism. So, in case of dynamism or continuation, you can use the preposition on. Apart from that, in or for or about never means any kind of dynamism but on always means dynamism in many cases so the answer lies in option a now go next the peasant refused to bow his master look through the option on upon by before the best way to select the preposition is that bow means in front of someone so, out of the four option, on, upon, by, before, before suggest in front of, before someone or in front of someone, neither by, nor upon, nor on, suggest in front of. So, the answer will be before. Now, go next. Fidos is engaged a friend of mine. Look through the option with two by on. So, whenever such a question is there as this, you need to select the preposition to engage to someone. It is not like engaged with or engaged by or engaged on. It should be engaged to someone. Fidos is engaged to someone, not like with or by or any other preposition. It should be engaged to someone. So, the answer is 2. That means option B. Now, go next. He is sure to come. Here is the blank soon. Come round means get recovery. Come down means you all know the meaning of come down. About means happen suddenly none. That means he is sure that he will recover soon. So, out of the four options, come round will be the perfect answer. Now, look through the overall class. The first question goes for answer. Goes for the answer on. Second question goes for the answer before. Third question goes for the answer to. And the last question goes for the answer round. This is my class for this. So, far, prepositions are concerns. If you are unable to understand this short analysis, you can easily drop your comments in the comment box section. But if you like my video, you can share my video, subscribe to my channel and do not forget to press the notification bell icon for more such video. Can you wait for my next class? Till then, have a very good day.